activity is the catalyst for so many other important things in life. It really gives you a lot of confidence. And so that's how I fell in love with it. I was skin and bones, couldn't eat anything, having no medical issues, just had no motivation in life. And the gym helped me get through that. Turn mental pain into physical pain is one of my favorite quotes. And I saw my strength increase and I saw my endurance increase and that was all great. You see your sleep cycles get better, so that's all great. But you also feel more motivated. You have that adrenaline rush that you don't have as someone who's not active. The energy you gain, um, the mental clarity that you get from a good workout or from being healthy in general is what keeps me going, to be honest. I, I was always kind of scrawny. I put on a little weight during COVID too. And I never was really just like that really healthy. Wanting to not be scrawny, that was my inspiration. Well, I used to have crazy anger issues when I was 125 pounds because I didn't like who I was. So going to the gym itself was great to actually unleash that anger and calm myself. If I ever have a bad day or anything, I know I can lift those heavy circles and get through it. I suffered a car accident. Um, and from that car accident, um, a bunch of my ribs started to break. And so there was a point where it was difficult to move most days. There was a period where I didn't work out at all and my brain really took a hit. And so when I got the okay to my doctor, I like slowly just started going on the treadmill, moving the body, walking more. I noticed when that became easier and I started lifting weights again, my brain, it's like instead of going to a therapist, I go to the gym and, and that's where I relieve all the crazy stuff that's going on in my brain. I was going to all the wrong people. They would say, you need to drink a lot of uh, milk, you need to drink a lot of, add a lot of uh, wheat in your diet. They, they didn't know any better, so I couldn't find anyone better until 2009. That's when I met my trainer. So you find the right people if you don't know what to do. I'm 34 years old now, and it's in your 30s, your testosterone levels decrease, you start getting a little bit of body fat. Um, I had rotator cuff surgery six, seven months ago. People told me, okay, this is done now. You'll never be able to lift again. You'll have to start doing cardio and stuff like that. So these challenges are what kept me motivated. Um, you gotta, at the end of the day, it's you versus you, and you're the one making that choice of whether you wanna improve or whether you wanna stagnate. It is scary, it is a scary place to start, but once you start, there's no looking back. It does help you immensely. And a lot of people are scared to start a fitness journey or start going to the gym itself because they're scared people are staring at them or overcompensating themselves for somebody else and constantly trying to think they don't look as good. Nobody's looking at you. Even if they are, they're not judging you. They're here to work on themselves themselves. Everybody has their demons, everybody has their issues, and everybody's trying to work on themselves. My biggest advice is every day is a new day. Doesn't matter what you're going through, doesn't matter whatever's going through, tomorrow could be a better day. So I'll flip that page and just make something happen. That it's really gonna benefit your whole life. Uh, not only your mental health will improve, your cardiovascular health will improve, you'll feel better, and when you feel better, you perform better in all areas of your life. And you really don't think about it until it's almost too late. So when you get an injury or you notice like you're starting to feel more sluggish, it's so much harder to get into it when you're not feeling great about yourself. So getting started before you think you really need to is really what kind of snowballs everything. Set small goals, small attainable goals. Um, give yourself small deadlines and it'll keep you going that much further. Just don't give up because whenever you get into the gym, everyone gets so scared. They don't know what they're doing and then they just give up. You just gotta keep going. You'll feel better mentally over time. It takes time, but you will start to feel really good. Don't be afraid to ask for help. I was so nervous. I had no idea what I was doing. YouTube is a huge thing now. I love that YouTube and Instagram, TikTok, there's so many people that can show you how to work out now. The more that you go, the more that you look at yourself, the more your motivation increases naturally. You get kind of hooked to it, right? And then you'll try to figure out, okay, what works for my, me? But consistency is key, that's what I think. I think everyone needs to be consistent, no matter what kind of diet they're following, no matter what kind of workouts they're doing, they just need to make sure that they stay on it, um, and then the results will follow. If you're not getting on your nutrition, start with supplements. Once you have the right vitamins and minerals in your body, you're gonna have more energy to want to do the physical things. I take the magnesium a lot, and then the one with the black pepper I use a lot as well. I just feel very sluggish if I don't take it. I just find it just gives me more energy. It makes me feel better. Um, it helps a little bit with my memory too, which is kind of nice. <laughs> there are a lot of uh, vitamin D supplements in the market. There's very few with the K2 in it, and that's a very important aspect of it because uh, K2 actually makes the absorption much more efficient. Um, then I'm also taking Lion's Mane. It's something that I got into a few months ago 
and I love it. It's, it's so good for you cognitively. Yes, body is great, but you also gotta take care of the mind. I've been taking your ashwagandha for two years. Um, that's a really good product, it promotes great sleep, mood. I do feel the changes in my mood when I've been taking it regularly. And then I've been taking turmeric. Uh, for someone who does keto, I am very conscious about inflammation in my body. Your turmeric formulation, again, is something in particular that I'm a huge fan of. You know, it comes with a black pepper extract, which promotes its absorption as well. So it's uh, something that's not really available in the market. Ashwagandha, I, uh, I've taken. I found that helps a lot with like stress. Um, I, I felt like I feel like I'd be. I would actually notice that I'm more stressed and like wound up. But when I take it, I feel calm. So out of all those, my favorite is probably the fat burner. Some people think fat burners are placebo effects, but your fat burner in literally a month, I lost 15 pounds during my cut. So it just made my shreds completely better than it ever was before. So I can fully say that your fat burner works. Best product I've tried. Creatine is one of the best products you can have in your body. Like I said before, it's great for rejuvenating your cells, skin, liver, whatever you're having throughout your body. And to be honest, creatine has been insanely hard product to find unless you want to pay hundreds of dollars. So to see a great company start one is just wonderful. All of your uh, supplements have a Made in Canada label on it. It just instills trust, right? And a lot of pre-workouts that I've been using with, they say something on the label, but you don't really know what's in them. And it can be really, you know, tough. So, so that's something I'm really excited about. You can't like outwork a bad diet. You can't outlift poor nutrition. Um, so really, I realized like you need, you need the physical activity, you need the nutrition, and it's really hard to get all the nutrition you need from food alone. So supplementing is an awesome way to really like put you to the next level. And so I got vitamin D, vitamin K. We do the apple cider, cider vinegar. Uh, we have the lion's mane mushrooms. We've got magnesium, calcium, a whole bunch, thanks to Neutrology. 